Let's see if this will work again. Otherwise, I'm going to record a video for you guys. And you're just going to have to watch it like that. And I'm going to have to work on whatever the freak is going on with my Facebook Facebook group and figure it out. Okay. So, uh, welcome to day two of the happiness challenge. I'm not going to let this get me down because if I do, then it's winning, right? So, today I want to talk to you about what can steal your happiness, okay? Tech issues, number one. But besides tech issues, there is like a number of things that can steal your happiness. And the main thing is to acknowledge where it came from. Okay, first of all, because remember, like I said yesterday, you pick up most of the stuff from zero to seven years old is what I've learned. And you incorporate that in your life, you know, subconsciously, and you don't even realize that you may be doing it. So there's a number of things that can steal your happiness. Like I can let this tech issue piss me off and then start getting crazy, like forget it, fuck this. I don't want to do my online shit no more because something like this always happens every time i try to do a challenge for you guys right but now i know okay you know what i need to figure out something to do in order to fix it and i'm not gonna let that steal my happiness you know i can go outside after and i can water i can come back later i can ask somebody i don't have to always do things by myself and that's one thing that i definitely learned <laughs> is that i don't have to try to do things i don't i don't want to you know and I'm going to give you an example. I don't like to cook. <laughs> Since I was younger, I remember my mom and them telling me, go watch your grandma, go help your grandma, go do this. And I just, I, I didn't like to cook. I, I like to eat, but to cook, oh, forget it. It's like a challenge to get me to even think about it. Because thinking about it is a challenge. And then getting all the ingredients together and everything, right? But you have to be in the mood to do it. Um... And so my husband's strength is cooking, but he has to go to work, right? Until I can get to that level where I can retire him. So until then, he goes to work, he has his week of cooking, I have my week, and so does my sister. Because I think an important responsibility for her is sooner or later she's gonna be on her own. I don't want her to be like me not knowing how to cook. And if she's gonna learn, she's gonna learn from my husband who is an awesome freaking cook and she's gonna know how to make some shit <laughs> and so better than me and that I'm, I'm waiting for that and she does pretty good so um yeah just sometimes cooking steals my happiness and I'm just like oh, I mean I love to eat but then some days I'm in my mood where like I'm like okay we need to eat healthy this week this is what I'm gonna make I got my recipes and I got it all done and dinner comes out good where before it was just like sometimes eh, I fucked it up and we might have to throw it away and not eat it right <laughs> um but yeah so little things like that can steal your happiness and then there's things like I'll give you an example music music can take you back to a certain place right when you're listening to it, it can take you to a sad place or it can take you to a happy place. And so the challenge for today is I want you to listen to some music that you love. Okay. Something that's going to take you back and remind you of the younger times and things like that where you're just in the moment. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. You might cry and it's okay. I used to cry every morning listening to certain songs. It would remind me of my stepmom. And I'm just like, oh, man, I just remember that awesome, fun time we would have and and cry. And I think I'm going to share a song with you on here that reminds me of her. It's, you know, on a beach in Hawaii and you're just walking and loving life. And so that... Um, is one of the steps that I want you to do today besides writing down the five things that you're grateful for. Okay, don't forget you need to do that every day and spending 30 minutes by yourself. So in between those 30 minutes by yourself, you can put on your favorite music or whatever and then just kind of go from there. You can dance around if you want. You can just be in the moment. And I want you to realize if it's something negative that you realize that's going on, it's a cycle of something always taking your happiness i want you to sit there and think why is this taking my happiness 
why am I allowing it? And go back and ask yourself every single question when you come up to that answer. Like, okay, it came back to my childhood. Okay, well, what about my childhood? Why well, seen my mom doing it? Well, why did your mom do it? Well, because her grandma or whatever, her mom and grandma and da-da-da. And look at the cycle and realize how you can break it. Okay, because that's one thing that I did. And it was super hard to break the cycle of negativity because my family, I, I mean... I honestly think everybody in this world has a little bit of depression without even knowing it. And my family has a real big problem with depression. Um, and I was just so thankful. I could have dwelled in this depression with my sister and things like that and her mom passing and, and just why, why, why and being the victim. But instead I chose to change it. I chose to look at life, how her mom would want her to grow up, things that we can teach her that we learned along the way, which is things like the movements and the protests and just all kinds of things like that. And honestly, I didn't know what really made me happy, but that's what makes me happy. Getting involved and doing things and being there for people. And that to me is my true happiness. But the only way that I am able to do that is if I take care of myself every single day in the morning. And that has to be my priority because if it's not, I have a shit day. Like today, I didn't get to do my personal development or anything. So of course, I naturally am going to have problems and tech issues getting this message out to you guys because I wasn't super in my moment writing things down. So after this, I'm going to go and I'm going to do that. Maybe a little late, <clears throat> excuse me, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to change that, set the intent for the rest of the day to have a good day. My shit's going to be fixed. So hopefully by tomorrow, <laughs> we can be live in the group. So, all right, guys. Um, I will definitely write out the description of what I would like you to do today. Oh, my gosh. Look at me. I'm so sweating. It's hot. It's super hot back at home. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, my God. Hair up. Don't care. But that's not good. You should, you know, get get ready for the day. But yeah, so those are the ways I've been able to deal with certain things, and I hope that that helped you. Um, I still want to see what's going on, you know, from yesterday, if you had your ice cream or your drink, and yeah, if I'm not able to put these up live, please be patient. I know it's a pain in the ass. I'm going to definitely work on it today, and so we can get the message out better to you tomorrow. All right, guys, thanks for listening. I will talk to you later. Bye.